Everybody remembers Fermat's last theorem, but can anybody reproduce the proof? Perhaps it is too much to ask for. Well, let us replace the exponents with corresponding variables. Can you find any natural solutions now? Pause here and give it a shot. Ok, the first hint is it has no solutions. And I want to prove it using contradiction. So let there be natural x, y and z that satisfy the equation. Because neither of the terms are negative, we can write down these two obvious inequalities. An out-of-the-box idea here is that it implies z is greater than x and greater than y. To see it, why not use another contradiction? Raise both sides to power z, and since z is less than x, we can also write this. But it clearly contradicts the very first inequality we found. The proof is the same for y. Great, but where do we go from here? Well, we're dealing with naturals, so our inequalities actually mean this. We can now write something similar to the first inequalities we found. Split the bracket, use the fact that x is an integer, and we finally arrive at this. The same is true about z and y. Do you see it? Simply add both inequalities and get rid of 2. We get a clear contradiction with our assumption and hence no solution exists.